10 tips, 10 days. Tip number seven, take back control. So over the last couple of days, we've been moving into the mountains. You took a time out and you're using this time to reconnect with what's truly important to you, your core values. How to set boundaries again, using your core values. How to, not how to, look at you, looked at the roles that you have in life. Which one are yours? Which ones are not? Which ones could you perhaps ignore entirely? And which ones do you have to delegate to other people? And then we also looked at rules. And all this when we slow, as we slowly moved into the mountains, spent the nights in mountain inns, and looked at the stars, sunrises, came over crests until we finally yesterday, the day before yesterday, came to the summit and we yodeled our hearts out. And yesterday we set, we used our time to just sit on top of the mountain on a nice rock and simply take in the view. And that view, let me see, looks, oops, excuse me, look perhaps a little bit like this. Let me see if I can show you without toppling over. There you are. So now that you're once again crystal clear on your vision, know your boundaries. Know which rules are yours. Know what rules you want to play by. It's time to do, to take back control. Because all those things are of no real use to you when you don't actually apply them and that's what you need to do to be in control so every time you come up against a situation where you have to make a decision especially decisions that have an influence on your vision on whether or not you will be able to realize your vision take into account what are my core values? When I do this or when I allow this to happen, are any of my boundaries being crossed? Is what I'm about to do something that is mine to do? As in, does it, is it part of the role that I have in life? Oh, man, is that beautiful. Hang on. Let me turn around a bit, see if I can show it to you i'm going to there you are look at that i know i'm digressing and um usually well around this time snow can be there two weeks ago that mountain behind me over there was free of snow and uh as they say in westeros winter is coming which is good, I guess. It's October, so. Anyways, where was I? Um, every Oh, yes, roles. So, when you have to make a decision, especially those that concern or that touch upon your vision or are, li are likely to touch upon your vision, ask yourself... Is it in line? It, it, does it, is it part of the role that I have to play or of the roles that are mine? If not, is there a good reason for me to do it anyways? Or is there somebody else that should be doing this? Or is there, um, you know, is this something that 
doesn't concern me, doesn't concern my responsibilities. It doesn't contribute to me realizing my vision or to us as a company, as a business, realizing our vision. So, no, this is not something we're going to do. So take, look at the roles you play. And also, when somebody tells you, this is how we do things, these are the rules we play by, don't just accept them simply because somebody tells you that that's what um, the rules are. You are allowed to question them. And when there's no good explanation for them, really no good explanation, you are allowed to question them. You are allowed to say, this is perhaps not a really good idea, or this is something that I do not want to do. And, and, with, and in the, on day three, when I talked about boundaries, I also gave some tips about on how to draw those lines, how to draw those boundaries and how to maintain them. So take back control. That's tip number seven. As always, go there greatly. Bye bye.